Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Pinninger and I am playing some Shadow Hearts. I raised the monitor up a little bit just because I think it'll be easier for me. Um, so let me know what you guys think. When we last left off, I can't really remember actually because it's been about a week. It seems to be a con refrain. Uh, I think I found a key? Okay, we need a passcode for that door. And we enter the passcode. Shit. Zero, 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 zero. <laughs> I'm useful. No. Um, do I have... Did I get an item? I remember going... Bulge. Oh, nugget. <laughs> okay, so I remember this. There's a pile of books on the table. Will you take a look? And if we look at the book... Yuri says, okay, 5, March, 75. Um, January, February, March. So that'd be 3. So that'd be 5, 3, 7, 5. 5, 3, 7, 5. 5, 3, 7, 5. Did I already read this one? Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, yeah. I'm just gonna, just freaking open. Damn it. <laughs> Get my stupid. I do have sticky notes specifically for keeping notes. Obviously, for sticky notes. So it was 5375. Possibly. Oh shit. Uh. 4213. Okay. Every other doctor comes to talk about his dead mother. He sounds just like a little child. He always becomes so emotional. He starts to cry. He even gets up and screams all of a sudden. At first I was scared, but I got used to it. If I just listened to that, I get to have warm soup and bread. Every night I listen to the sobs the new of the new kids here, but then again, I'm usually crying too. I hope I can find new parents soon and get out of this place. Isn't God listening to my prayers? Yes, continue. Fudge nugget! More numbers to write down. Even though these other ones probably don't matter. It's probably just the first one. Two, one... Three, two, one. The doctor seemed excited. He smiled and started talking as soon as he saw me. He was happy because his, his experiment went well and some books and some book was going to make his dreams a reality. Sometimes I shiver when I hear about his research. It sounds like the story of Frankenstein to me. I can't hear the crying of the children tonight, even though it's definitely time for it. But you continue to read. Tony, these other numbers don't even matter. I'm just gonna, just gonna keep freaking writing them. <laughs> One, three. I had a I had a great dinner tonight. I've never eaten so much delicious food at once. The teacher was all smiles too. It seems that it's going to be my turn to help his experiment tomorrow. This is the last entry in the entire oh shit, <laughs> killing all the chitlins. A <laughs> vulgar looking man. Oh, I remember that. It's full of picture books for children. I read that one. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, that's just the okay. So I have four possible numbers. I'm pretty sure it's only the first one. <laughs> Alright, yes, it's good spin. Um, five. Three. Seven. Five. Hey, there we go. <laughs> so the other three numbers were useless. Excellent. Uh, electrical signal and physical structure, constituent elements of, s of soul, rules of restoration. It's full of hard to understand content, drawings, and symbols. Oh, you see monk earrings off of the floor. There's our small item scattered atop the desk and his drawer is locked. Well, I'm a brute. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm a brute force man. A first time! I found a heavy file inside the door of the dress. It looks like the master's diary. Will you read the master's diary? Ah, oh, fuck it! I'm not gonna write the dates down. <laughs> April 18th, uh, I'm assuming that's 1909. We finally finished the move. My mother seems to take like the mansion, too. I was worried when I first came, but I don't believe the ghost of the old owner will return here. Tomorrow is my first day as a doctor. It will be difficult, but my mother and I will make it. Whatever that date is. It's been a month since I started working as a doctor. So far, so good. But the change in climates has given Mother a chill. She was always tired and I'm worried. 
What is going on? I have no idea what is making my mother so ill. Each day her illness worsens. It's unbearable watching her appearance change so rapidly. She used to be so beautiful. Why are you referring to your mother as- I'm not even- But now her body is changing, drying out as if she were becoming a mummy. Please give me the power to help mother. I would do anything to return the smile to her lips. It rained hard all night long, and my mother passed away before dawn. The mummy in front of me will not move again. I tried to halt her illness, but in the end, I failed. My mother screamed like a beast and went into convulsions and died with an agonized look on her face. She never failed to grace me with her smile, and was rewarded for it by God with a torturous end. Tell me, God, why did my mother deserve this? We honored you, prayed to you as we were taught. Why have you forsaken us? It is something I simply cannot fathom. As I suspected previously, my mother was killed by some kind of curse. The more I study the black arts, the more I am certain. If I can but unpuzzle their arcane logic, perhaps I can solve the enigma of my mother's death. But why am I doing this? Even if I uncover what caused the strange disease, I cannot bring the dead back to life. I ran into someone in town today. His name was Roger Bacon. Okay, he's not rich. He told me my mother's disease lies in the secret arts practiced by the ancient druid monks. What an unsettling man. He told me that he knew everything about me, although we had never met before. He has given me an old book. The text is all in Greek, so it will take some time to decipher it. It's the Necronomicon. <laughs> it's the game's version of the Necronomicon. What have I done? Have I come face to face with God? A week has passed since I last slept, yet my excitement and curiosity build all the more. Decoding the emigre document. Oh, you remember that? Shouldn't take much longer than a whole new world will open to me. That's the name of the third bit, isn't it? It was already dark outside when I finally awoke. My relief at finishing decoding the document must have lulled me into a deep sleep. But I shan't hesitate anymore. I have discovered the path that I must take. I can bring the dead to life with the emigre man document. <laughs> Got from document to manuscript. I can see my mother smile once again. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna end well for you. I'm going to be quite a busy man. Bacon? Bacon again! The fact that his last name is Bacon is so funny. Because <laughs> they're just yelling at Bacon. Damn you cured pork products! Okay. Now it's painting. I'm a beautiful woman. This is Mary. Okay, that one I am gonna copy now. Three, seven, fifty. July? When's yep, because you already meant, mentioned something about it. Uh, you know, it's probably the one for the main area, actually. Because there's that center door that I think also had a passcode? Maybe? You son of a monkey! <laughs> Just trying to get through the door, you rude! Can I just kill them? I want to just kill them. I'm going to just kill them. I don't know if I have an attack all attack, because I do when I have Keith in the party, but not when I have other people. Uh... God damn it, I don't have anything. I ain't got shit. Except for the fact that he already turned into a goddamn ink. With backwards facing wings that Kills things by slapping them with its tail. <laughs> Alright, game. Alright, game. Could you stop hitting Howie, please? Like, it's kinda rude. Did I attack all? God damn it. <laughs> okay, fine. So I realized after I finished that, uh, that fight, <laughs> I have three freaking things in the graveyard to do. Oops. <laughs> I've not been paying any attention, so we're gonna just, yeah. We're just, we're just gonna just. We're just gonna just. Ooh. Are you freaking Akuma? D do I have Akuma now? I mean, I'm okay with having Akuma. Because I need more tanks, apparently. And there goes the fire one. So we have two left, and it's 
darkness? I can't remember. Oh, I got the soul of Ifrit. Uh, don't tell Yuna. A cursed feeling spreads within you. You've received the soul of Ifrit. Alright, so it's light and darkness. Well done. Um, I think we use light against darkness and we use darkness against light. Fight the fusion monster. Uh, yeah, let's let's heal ourselves. <laughs> there, uh... cool. And I have one mono leaf. Which is not very helpful. There we go. That should be enough MP. Wait, do I have? Okay, okay I do have only SP. Right. I always forget that SP revives or like refreshes itself after every fight. Oh yeah! Come on, Sas. Heaven's food. It sort of reminds me of that episode of the Adams Family where they're making posters for a guy's political uh, campaign, and they say everybody's fiend instead of everybody's friend. I'm a nerd. I like the Adams Family. Don't judge me. Uh, special defense. Uh, that's an employee arrow. I'm super friendly. Let's go for this one. God, this is still a weird looking fusion. I mean, the, the character and creature designs in these games are amazing. Still kind of terrifying. <laughs> like, whoever designed these creatures should totally design horror monsters. Grant, this, this, this is like a horror light, it's like a horror RPG almost. Also, that creature looks exactly like six or seven different types of gnosis from Zanataka. Just saying. Alright, this should be enough to kill him. Unless I miss. Oh, look at that perfect score. So, I'm gonna use this fusion against the light guy. Because if I'm right, that light is strong against... Or that light is strong against dark and dark is strong against light. Soul of Karan. Alright. <laughs> tra a traitorous impulse wells inside of you. You've received the soul of Charon. Charon, Charon, I'm gonna need special skills. Can I change it? Oh, God, I can't remember how to change these. Shit. Um, is it equipment? There we go, soul. Okay, so let's get rid of Death Emperor and get Karon. Because I might as well use the stronger one if I'm correct. Now let's see here. Raging. No, it's not that one. Man Dragon, that's water. Earth. Five. I don't think it's that one. I don't think it's wind. Crap. Okay, there might be something in the help so I actually get this shit right. <laughs> uh, system. No, it would be under battle. Um, status abnormalities. Why doesn't the game have a thing that shows you the stupid elemental weakness? Like, the, which elemental thing is good against the other one? Because. If it doesn't, then that's dumb. I'm probably missing it, and you guys are probably all yelling at the screen if you know this game. But I don't even care. Okay, fine. Fuck you too. We're just gonna get we're just gonna do it. <laughs> Cause it's late and I'm recording before bed and I got shit to do. So Wait, isn't is that the light sign or the wind? I don't even care anymore. <laughs> Just, no, just... You know what? Fine. I should probably heal. <laughs> Good enough. Let's do it. Alright, what's the end? It's the Oh, it is the win. God damn it! <laughs> Okay, if it's wind, then I want... Er, 
or, uh, maybe that's light. I didn't pay attention. <laughs> I don't pay attention to anything, you guys. I pay attention to absolutely nothing. Nothing. Okay. Let's just do this. And then get this done so we can keep going on with the storyline with some more fusion creatures. Alright. The harpy is dead. <laughs> Ding dong, the harpy is dead. I should have a friend whose nickname is Harpy. She calls herself a harpy all the time. I don't want her dead though, she's a very nice person. Your des a desire to run away royals within you. You receive the soul of Icar- Okay. So I know a lot about Greek mythology. And the fact that it's Icarus the soul of Icarus and not the soul of Daedalus makes me kind of go, oh shit. <laughs> I've got all of these nice little tents, so I'm just gonna use some of those. And then pop a save because I'm paranoid and there's a save point. <laughs> Is it a day that starts in Y? Okay. Now let's actually use this thing unless I get into a grand battle. Start of the king lock on the door. We answer, yes, let's give it a spin. So three seven five four. Boom! Did it! Done it! Alright. Shenanigans time. You! Oh god, what the hell is my Halley voice? <laughs> So, you come after all. Where's Chris? <laughs> I sure hope this isn't Chris's blood. Chris? Ah, uh, yes. The girl. As an essential resource in my upcoming experiment, she is of course being well taken care of. What the hell are you up to? Do you really wish to know? Or right, then I'll tell you. I shall become a master of life and death. Transplanting the soul of the dead into a living vessel. Never again shall they feel the pain of losing those dear to us. They shall glow with everlasting life. Are you with me? Can you see the beauty of it? The brilliance? <laughs> sure! Ah, crap. Let us proceed to the final adjustments. Chris, it's finally your turn. What? She's a Zamble. She is a Zamble. Chris! I sure hope this isn't your blood. Dot 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 dot. Alright then. Look upon this great spiritual vessel, a holy womb for the soup of life. Even as we speak, a life is nearly blossomed within it. Sure! So you impregnated a little teenage girl with the soul of your dead mother. Monsieur, you have issues. <laughs> I think I hit my microphone, I apologize. Okay, bye, Chris. Okay, bye, Chris. I didn't even notice there was stairs back there. Stop! <laughs> That's hardly enough to break my hypnotism. Okay. Awaken, dear mother. How he is pissed. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shop that because it's late and I don't want to piss off my roommate. Ah crap. Break it, break it, break it Aw oh, Okay, she did fall. It. Don't do it, Hallie! Calm down, you'll destroy everything! It's Cody! Oh my god, we haven't heard Cody in a while! Hallie! Hallie! Calm down! Don't give in to your anger! Oh right, I forget the fact that it voice acts in the red. <laughs> M mom Oh, it's Cody! Excuse you! Kodelka, please. Cody, please. 
Cody, please. Mom! Mom! Oh, crap, I skipped the other half of that. Oops. Mother. Mother, she was almost resurrected. Mother, mother. Mother. Still want to shout things because the thing is it's late. Damn you. Oh, okay. Holly got rushed. <laughs> I mean, he can still throw Chris into the pot. Like, it's not hard. Okay, I smell a two-stage boss fight. Or something. How about... Karin? How about Karin? Well, actually, no, it's probably Heaven's Feet that I wanted. Oh, well. What have we got here? Uh, to play medium amount of HP. Raises target special attack power. Attacks all enemies with big darkness. Okay, these aren't useful, so attack. Because I'm assuming he's dark aligned. So many of the bosses in this game are dark aligned. So many of them. Uh, what you got? Show me what you got. I found it funny that he's got a wind class and floor class. I don't think he'll try it. I doubt you can inflict poison on him because he's a boss, but... I hate you. Yeah, yeah, we get away. You hate everyone, Holly. Just, shh. Just get over yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that didn't work. Holy yes, there we go. Does anyone know what Alice actually says when she casts a spell? Because I have no idea. <laughs> and it kind of bugs me that I don't know what Alice is saying. It's like in another language. I don't think it's Japanese. That was rude. I don't think it was Japanese, but you know. Bonk, bonk, bonk. And he's dead. <laughs> in a blaze of fire. <laughs> Probably to, you know, go into another fight, actually, because... That's the way this game tends to roll. I mean, well, RPGs, in, the way RPGs in general tend to roll. Oh, you think you killed the boss? Here's a phase two! Yep. Talk about an Oedipus complex. I, that fucking told you. I fucking told you. But... Mother, it's not even complete. Why? What the heck is that? Fucking right, man. Fucking right! Ooh! Alrighty then! Oh! Internet. <laughs> Why did I- well... I Internet and Cthulhu and Lovecraft, everything that just breeds monsters is... Probably inspired? I don't even know where this train of thought is going, I'm just gonna stop and fight them, kill it. Kill, kill the thi kill the thing <laughs> with the person for a tongue. <laughs> Up and did so. That took a hot minute. I think that took me like 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> Eventually killed him though. I don't think there is a third one. I have no reason to believe there's a third one. There might be a third one. No, I think it's just the two. <laughs> Get away from Chris Redfield. Mother. Mummy. Mama. I'm so sorry, Mommy. Full grown man saying mommy is this a little weird. This is the new life. Oh, I cut him off again. Oops. I mean, it is Yuri. If you're gonna cut anyone off. To begin with, it's great to see that everybody got back alive. It's a true relief. But can it be true? Can the person behind that voice really be Hallie's mother? <gasps> the one he's been hearing this entire time is Cody! Holy moly! When Hallie's anger got the best of him and nearly lost it, that voice came and calmed you, keeping you from going berserk. But the cap will be. Hey, is that really your mother? Yeah, I'm positive. That voice has troubled me for years. I hear it in my head telling me to do this and that. But of course, it's Satan dozens of times as well. 
Pally, you said that your mother abandoned you, right? Perhaps your mother wants to tell us something. Maybe that's why she's sending her voice to us. Dot dot dot. Look, I hate my mom. I have mommy issues. Do y'all think I'm a monster? <laughs> a monster? What you looking at me for? <laughs> Nobody here thinks you're a monster. You just have different abilities for most people. No, I'm not sweet. My mom used to say that we're both human, but those guys didn't think so. Those guys. It's Cody! My mother told me that too. It's Kodelka. She and I are people like anyone else. It's just that when we were born, God gave us some powers that are a little different. But that's not the way those guys saw it. Because they're assholes, Obs. The Friar Knights of the Inquisition decided from the start that my mother was a witch. Was there an Inquisition they in like the 1920s? In a mental hospital. Then why did you think she abandoned you? Why did you say that your All mom my abandoned mother did you? Was to use her special powers to help people who were possessed by ghosts. Why did you say she abandoned you if you knew she got locked up in an asylum? Or cure people who were hurt. Weirdo. She didn't fight back at all. Because they threatened to kill me if she did. And that somehow turned into my mom abandoned. They weren't my mother's enemies at all. It was all because of me. All because of me. <laughs> I'm sorry. The second all because of me is just so wild. I love it. Calm down, Hallie. Yeah, because that ever worked. Telling someone to calm down has actually made them calm down. Yeah, you do an Edward Elric reject. God, I have to get close to the microphone every time I do Keith's voice. Wow. It's really an amazing power. And it's the same power as your mother had. Is it now? Because she didn't do anything like that in, uh, in Kodalka. I'm sorry. I can't control my power very well. So, your mother was taken away by the Friar Knights of the Inquisition. Seriously, was there an Inquisition in 1920? Ish. Like, 1910, 1920? Yes. Now, oh, crap. Let's go jailbreak time! The Inquisition. In this day and age? How could there still be such a thing? Exactly! Hey, what's an Inquisition? Well, you see, when this big guy called Corypheus, Corypheus, decides to uh, kill a whole bunch of people from the Chantry and a whole bunch of the mages, and then you have Cassandra who banks a big old book on the table and says they declare an Inquisition. <laughs> oh, come on, you guys knew I had to, I, I had to, it was too perfect. The Inquisition was a religious tribunal formed to stamp out heresy in the 11th century Europe. They burned witches and warlocks in God's name, but many innocents were slaughtered as well. Many were killed for political purposes as well. They were beaten, tortured, and burned alive. It was terrible, started by people who derived their authority from their religion. Those guys took your mother away? And they didn't burn her. <laughs> Granted, it's Kodelka, that probably wouldn't have worked. Hallie, I promise you, I'll save your mother! <laughs> As this Let's Play progresses, Yuri's turning into more and more of a chain smoker. <laughs> Yuri! Thou hast not even won once. What? Suddenly he's old English. If I can hear her voice, she must still be alive. And you must want to talk to her in person, right? Do you know what your mother is now? I know where the mental hospital is. The security is tight, though. I've already tried breaking in. We don't know where Cardinal Simon is right now. It seems like we know where we have to go next. Alright then, let's get started right away. God, I can never remember my Shushan voice. My super old man voice that does really weird things and I bounce around every time I use it. <laughs> 
Okay. Enough of that shit. Let's go find a save point, because I got shit to do, apparently. Hey, look! It's Chris Redfield! Hey, Chris Redfield, how you doing? Bye, Chris Redfield. Gotta get out of here. Female Chris Redfield. Um, I think I just have to... leave, and then I go straight there. I don't think I can save on the world map, though, so I might have to turn around to get to a save point. Okay, so go back to Britain map. There we go! Kalia's mental hostel. Okay. Wait, can I save from here? Oh yeah, I can! Cool. I always forget that I can save from the map. Uh, and that is going to be it for this episode. We have ourselves our final party member of the game, and we are going to go save Kodelka! You should go watch my Kodelka Let's Play. It's one of the first Let's Plays I did on this channel. Uh, my name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I will see you all in the next video.